Two more bodies were found in the Carolinas, bringing the death toll from the worst flooding there on record to at least 19. In South Carolina, 14 dams have failed just since the weekend. Now David Begno tells us they're calling in the cavalry. Drastic measures are being taken to stop rushing floodwaters. This National Guard chopper crew spent the entire day dropping these bags trying to shore up a canal in the state capital of Columbia. The bags are 3,000 pounds. Some are filled with sand and some are filled with rocks. They're being used to build a barrier because the Columbia Canal has breached, threatening the water supply to more than 350,000 people. You know, just being here on the scene lets you know how real that is. Kim Stenson is director of the state's emergency management division. How long do you think it'll take to temporarily shore it up? Well, I think in the next day or so they should be able to do that. Today he toured the Columbia Canal with FEMA administrator Craig Fugate. Both agency heads are monitoring flood water that is flowing east and threatening to breach 62 other dams in the state. With 14 dams now breached, South Carolina's shaky maintenance record is being scrutinized. The state spent only $260,000 on inspections and maintenance in 2014. By comparison, North Carolina spent more than $2 million, nearly 10 times as much, and had zero dam failures from recent rainfall. One of your local newspapers is calling the dam safety program flawed. Would you take exception with that? You know, I think there's going to be a lot of people that have a lot of, of opinions. What I will tell you is this is a thousand year flood and we have thousands of dams in this state. And you know, there'll be a lot of things we can go back after this and say, okay, where do we go from here? This morning, authorities recovered the bodies of two railroad workers. They died when the driver of a pickup truck drove around a barricade. The vehicle fell into a washed out road. Three other men inside survived. Here in Columbia, the first dam failed on Sunday. By Monday, five dams had failed, and officials say it was like a domino effect from there. Scott, everyone is looking toward the east now as the floodwater heads for the coast. Cities like Charleston have been told to be on alert. And the water may continue to rise for another 48 hours. David Begno reporting from the disaster area. David, thank you.